All right, so we're going to try to get this done a little quicker. Um, when you're out trapping, you're going to be carrying a pail, probably a pail full of uh, gear, or if you check your line with like a four-wheeler or anything, you're going to be carrying some gear on the back. Um, <clears throat> although it varies, uh, and trappers have preferences as to uh, <clears throat> what kind of gear they prefer to carry, I prefer to go with my own special set of stuff. Uh, of course, it can vary depending on what you want, but this is just the basic stuff that primarily every trapper across the country and across the world rather will have just because you need these tools although there's many variations for what kind of tools, what brand, how big, stuff like that but these are the basic tools that you're going to see on the trap line so I would suggest right off the bat a good hatchet uh, this is a Coleman hatchet um, just has a very nice edge on it, I put that on myself um, very good for cutting brush, cutting roots, cutting stumps, cu cutting basically anything in your way uh, that's for making the set. So just, it's just a very good tool to carry on the line. Uh, and you can split with it too if you need to make a fire. So very handy. Next tool, of course, that I suggest you always carry is a good knife. Also made by Coleman. I just have a uh, little bit of a paracord bracelet in the back here just for a little bit of extra rope. Um, and for grip as well, but a knife is the number one tool that any trapper needs. It has a multitude of purposes, um, and I highly suggest it. Alright. Alright, next. You're going to need some form of hammer for pounding the stakes, um, and you can also use the claw at the back for digging out a set. Now, I would not suggest a normal hammer. I have one of these just because I just found it for free, um, but I would not suggest that it's not very heavy and, and the head of the hammer is very small so it's you're gonna miss a lot of the times and it isn't the strongest thing either I would suggest something more along the lines of this big bruiser right here big hefty hammer this is called the sod buster or the groundhog tool it's got a huge flat square face on it for pounding stakes got a big old claw in the back for digging in the dirt it's got a hollow handle to make it a little bit lighter, and it's very, very, very heavy, so it gets the job done just right. So a good old hammer is a very uh, crucial tool on the line. All right, next is a shovel. I got one of these from uh, PCS Outdoors. Um, it's a wooden handle. It's got a good tapered, uh, sharp edge to it. Very good for digging. Uh, you can use a gardening spade or anything like that. Uh, just something with a longer handle tends to work, because especially when you're digging your holes or you're digging your bed, you generally use up about this much uh, especially when you dig in the hole so a little shovel this big won't cut it I like something with a longer handle and this works just fine so a good, a good shovel um, pair of pliers you know cutting wire um, so that's just kind of self-explanatory wire I always carry a roll of it on the line it has lots of purposes um, I tend to, to use it on my mink and muskrat line for wiring traps off to the bank um, and of course it has many other purposes as well. Um, the bigger the gauge, just depends on what you're using it for. I use 14 gauge wire, seems to fit everything I do. Um, okay, now there's just other tools, smaller tools that are just, I've talked about before, you know, the, the safety grip tool for your conibear setting. Also for your conibear setting, you have your uh, set tool. Makes it a lot easier on the hands than instead of having to set the trap by hand, you can squeeze it with this big uh, bar here. All right. It's kind of heavy, kind of long, kind of takes up some space, but when setting bigger traps like the Beaver 330, this, uh, this is, really helps. Okay, your s -soap tool for opening and closing swivels. Very helpful on your Predator, like Coyote line, your opening and closing swivels. Uh, so yeah, uh, I don't know about you guys, but I always carry a can opener, uh, especially for raccoon trapping. I use a lot of corn, a lot of tuna products that I buy at uh, Pick and Save and stuff like that. Uh, so a good can opener is always good to carry. You don't want to be stuck out in a cold day and have to have to use the uh, knife to pop holes in the can. I've had to do that several times. And then just something that I prefer to carry along with me is just a little uh, ice scoop. I bought this at the uh, ice fishing section at Gander Mountain. Uh, just for when you're doing your under ice sets in the middle of winter uh, and you want to clear the hole with ice. You don't want to have to use your hands or your glove and get your hand all cold and wet. Especially in January here in Wisconsin, you do, you do not want to be reaching in the water. So just a little ice scoop for clearing out your holes uh, helps a lot. So, yeah, those are just some tools that are very handy on the trap line. Like I said, there's many variations. You can it's it's all based on uh, what you like. So uh, 
But those are the general tools you'll see.